to you guys. Um, all right, guys. I think we're ready to get started with the show. Um, yeah, so passport bros are dying, guys. Um, we know this. We talk about this almost every week or every other week. However, there are some people who are oblivious in the uh, YouTube space, and they just may need a story or they just want to talk some shit. And, you know, shout out to Alba and Preach. I actually <laughs> tried to get them to come on our show or talk a little bit about our channel. They didn't want to give us any clout. Sometimes what you'll find, guys, is at the higher levels of YouTube, they'll look at your subscriber base and go, eh, I don't want to talk about them because then they're going to get popular off of us and we don't want them to get popular. It's a lot of like haters. It's a lot of, or, or just that, not even necessarily haters, but that mindset of like, I don't want you to win. Okay. Crab in a barrel mentality, but really they're out of the barrel. They just see a bunch of crabs coming up and they don't want to help them crabs come out. Right. And, he, and those crabs can't pull them back in the barrel either. They just don't want to give you any kind of shine. So Abba pulled up one of the videos I sent him on one of his videos, um, but he didn't say who it was from. He didn't say it was from this channel called Mentuition. He didn't show it on the screen. And I'll, maybe I'll find it uh, today or maybe another stream and I'll show you guys that he actually pulled up a video. This was from our OG channel, the 20K subs channel. Um, man, rest in peace to the 20K. <laughs> Rest in Moment peace. of silence. Yeah. Rest in peace to the 20K sub OG Mentuition channel. Um, hopefully, one day he will come back. Okay. Uh, but anyways, guys. Uh, so the 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 OG channel was getting a lot of eyes on it. A lot of people watching it. Um, and Abin Preach were one of those people. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to bring up their video talking about a passport bro that died. Okay. And we're going to just go over it, talk about it and comment. Uh, International, you got anything before we started? Uh, yeah. Shout out to King H. Uh, he said, Al, you earned the right to sit next to Steve, not behind him. Move up, big bro. Just saying. Yeah. Um, I'm sitting a little bit closer today. We have like kind of a different type of setup. It's just a lot going on here in the studio. Um, sometimes... The couch, firstly, the couch is like way back here. So if I sit up the whole time for like three hours, like with no back support, like that's that's why I'd be uh, sitting back a little bit. But the way it's set up today is a little bit different. So I did earn the right. Steve promoted me and I I'm not sitting behind Steve anymore. I'm sitting up. So, yeah, man. Yeah. Shout out to you. Yeah, shout man. Out to you for getting your promotion, bro. Appreciate it. Um, yeah. And shout out to King H again. The goat saying hit the cash app hit the paypal and then himself leading by example hit and hitting app. the cash app hit, 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 cash app hit the paypal shout out to you man i'm about to bring this up on the screen thank you so much uh and heck i'll bring yours up as well again guys you can uh scan the qr code on the bottom right hand side uh let me put the stream labs up too because we do have a stream labs now guys which it kind of substitutes our uh non-monetized asses and uh Gives us a chance to at least show some stuff on the screen. Let's go ahead and show this one. A shout out to uh, King H. He says, much love to the dynamic duo and fuck the raccoon. <laughs> <laughs> the raccoon. I said raccoon. Ah, raccoon, raccoon, same thing. Damn, potato, bro. Potato. Damn. Um, he up there chewing on the wires right now, man. Yeah, if our internet cuts out, you'll know why, man. Um, yeah, raccoon trying to sabotage. Shout out to our guy. Heck, getting the getting the cash app in before the or while the show's starting, yeah, before we can heck. even get everything up. What the heck, man? Shout out to you. Appreciate the love, brother. There it is. Shout out to heck, man. Thank you so much. He said, hit the PayPal, hit the cash app, hit the Venmo. Hit, or no, he said, hit the cash app, hit the Venmo, hit the PayPal. Yes, hit sir. The cash app, hit the PayPal. Thank you, man. Appreciate you, bro. Um, all right, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring this up now. Uh, does this look familiar, guys? This story right here uh, looks familiar to me, Yeah, but this is a recent video that Abba and Preach put out, I think today or yesterday, yesterday. excuse me. So kind of interesting they're going over this now when this is something they actually should have went over eight when months it happened. ago or uh, 10 months ago when it happened. I said they're running out of content, man. They run out. out of content. They can't get it fresh and fit. Uh, I guess it was a slow week for them on that, so they pulled over to this community, but you got to hit up, you know, hit up us for a recent story, hit up some of the people that we follow um, for some relevancy. But you can't be reporting on shit that happened a year ago, man, and acting like it's new. So, um, yeah, man, um, someone just hit the PayPal, actually. Uh, I don't who, who just said the PayPal. I want to make sure because it has your government and I don't want to put it on there. 
Is it Heck or was it King H? Let, Let me know which. Name? Isn't this uh? Uh, I think that's, that's not that's not King H. No, that's is it Mr. Miyagi? That's somebody else. It might, it's probably Mr. Miyagi. Uh, uh Mr. Yeah, Mr. Miyagi. Miyagi. Okay, yes, okay. sir. That's what I thought. That's what I Appreciate the love, bro. Yeah, I knew. I was going to say. Thank you, Mr. Miyagi. We'll put this up on the Do screen. Do you have the message? Did he, did he uh, say anything? Let me see. Hold on. Let me join. Let me, let me, I'll open it up in a second. I uh, appreciate you, Mr. Miyagi. Uh, we'll bring it up here in a moment. Um, I'll go ahead and play this video and then we'll, uh, we'll bring it up after once we pause. Go out there and find somebody. I hear all. Tonight, an urgent warning for Americans visiting Colombia after a string of in tourist hotspots. The U.S. Embassy in Bogota urging travelers not to use dating apps in the country, writing in a security alert that criminals are using the sites to lure victims with many U.S. citizens drugged, robbed, and even by their Colombian dates. Embassy officials confirming the deaths of at least eight Americans traveling in Medellin, possibly linked to the apps. I'm out of words to describe. I just, I don't even know how, how I feel right now. A situation all too familiar for the family of 50-year-old Tu Zhang, an artist and activist from Minnesota who we first reported on last month. He had been traveling in Colombia in December when he called his brother out of the blue asking for money. This time he was like, hey, do you have a couple of thousand? I was like, mm, yeah, no problem. And when he wanted, it, he said, I want it now. I'm in this, in this bit of a situation here. I go, oh, uh, yeah, I can do that. Zhang's family telling our Minneapolis affiliate soon after he stopped responding to their messages, he was found dead. A local prosecutor saying Zhang was kidnapped during a date and killed when he could not make the ransom payment and that his body was found covered in stab wounds. I was confused. I, I, to be honest, with you, I don't know why, you know, what the motive is. Zhang had visited Colombia in the past, posting photos and videos to social media as recently as October with an unidentified woman. I'm with my girl. The embassy's alert indicated officials do not believe all eight of the deaths are linked and said they've seen an increase in reports of incidents involving the use of online dating applications to lure victims, typically foreigners, for robbery by force or using sedatives to drink. Wait, wait, hold on, guys. Hold, on. hold, hold, hold on. Pause it. Everything. Stop the show, guys. Did you? For enough. <laughs> That's what I thought he said. I, I don't know. Yeah, I just... oh, That's always funny. Individuals often the reports coming from major Colombian cities like Medellin, Cartagena, and Bogota. Murders of foreign visitors went up by 29% in the latter part of 2023 compared to the previous year, according to the embassy, and most of the victims were U.S. citizens. It's a popular destination for Americans who are big contributors to Colombia's tourism industry, making up nearly 30% of foreign travelers in the first half of last year. But behind that beauty, tragedy and unanswered questions for families like Zhang's, a case where no arrests have been announced, according to that local prosecutor. Loved ones are left to mourn from thousands of miles away. And he'll draw everybody in. That's the type of people he is. You want to say anything about this before we go? No, but I'm not really surprised about that. I know you're going to say that. Oh, you're never surprised. But it's really something that I like that I've seen when I travel. I see a lot of people want to do that you know what i mean and they, what i mean by that is they want to they want to indulge in uh the local delicacies uh problem with that is that there's a lot of honey there's a lot of honey traps from when i used to just go travel as a tourist and in, in, in resorts you go to a bar and then there's a lady waiting there blah blah giving you attention and stuff like that and then you're met with other people that want you to pay xyz uh and that's just the escalation of that you know what i mean uh I, I saw a video of a guy that travels the world right and he's just filming this just like i think yeah he's just, 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 just filming in front of him and then this lady that's passing in front of him and touches him he's in colombia he she touches him and he turns around why she does that uh, for him to follow her and there's someone following him right and they're gonna go to the alley and then that person's gonna pop up and then the rob him of everything he has uh there's a lot of those things that's happening there you have to be very careful 
whenever you travel. You know what's weird? They kind of make fun of Fresh from the way that he talks, but Preach don't talk too well either. Yeah. He kind of stutters over his words a little bit. I don't I don't understand what he's saying a lot of times when he's fucking talking. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I mean, when, when you get these guys that are from like these Caribbean islands, it's just kind of hard to, I mean, fresh does have a speech impediment, but I don't, I hardly ever can understand what preach is saying either. I'm just I saying, think, I think the Colombian guide is better. Colombian guide. Yeah. yeah he's better. Uh, yeah. I can understand him. more. He's getting better though. Shout, Shout out to preach though, with always wearing that leather, whatever the fuck suspender that is. fucking the thing that he has right here. Shit. Like he's about to fucking lift some weights or some shit. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck he's doing with that shit. Look like he's fucking a lumberjack or some shit. Yeah. But yeah, shout out to him. I, I, I mean, he better have some guns or something on this yeah. shit. Like, what is this? A holster? It looks like he holds a mace or something. That <laughs> shit. That's what that a mace holster. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Damn. Oh man. You indulging with people having attention, like giving you attention really quickly like that. It's a red flag, and you have to you have to be convinced. Did he say red flag? I believe so. Red flag. Okay. Of the thing, and, and, and beyond, you have to understand that you're not in your you're not in your house, you're not in your place, you're not in your country, and there's gonna be there's gonna be people that are gonna go that, they're gonna prey on 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 tourists like that. It's not something that is surprising. Something that's been going on in certain countries, Latin countries, not especially, but. I mean, it's a thing. It's not just Colombia. It's a lot of them. Uh, uh, what? No, oh, go ahead. No, let's finish. Yeah. So th that's the reason why I'm not really surprised of that. You, if you travel a bit, you hear these stories. You hear. Okay, guys. So these are huge YouTubers, man. Big YouTubers, two million followers. They're covering a Passport Bros story. This is why I said that there needs to be a face of the Passport Bros. There's nobody that can really respond to this and actually give, besides us, and actually give like a actual like, you know, uh, solid take on what's going on. I mean, they're saying a bunch of shit that we've already heard. This isn't anything new. They're not saying anything prolific. What do you think, International? Where's the part where he says, I'm, I'm just waiting for the part. I know it's coming. This is the this is the part that you know that the people that are talking are uninformed on the subject. Whenever they say um, the passport bros go overseas to find wives and then bring them back to America. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm just waiting for that part because I know it's coming. Yeah, every single time. Yep. Shout out to Wiza, Wiza in the fucking chat. I see you, Wiza. What's there? Uh, make sure you guys like the video, man. We got about 20 people in here. Heck says this is about to be a smoke show. We're not gonna flame Abba, Abba and preach. Too too much, but uh, um, we might. I just we think might flame them a little bit. I just think I just I, I mean, for me, shout out to them. They have a very successful channel and what they do. Um, like I said, I think that it's a, another case of people being uninformed on the topic and speaking about shit that they know nothing about. Um, you know, they they both live in Canada. None of them are passport bros. They don't travel overseas for the same reasons that the passport bros do. Whenever they're traveling, they're traveling with their significant others or, um, you know, or for fun or for other things. So um, they're not traveling for the same reasons of the passport bros. And in Canada, their country is a little bit different than the United States. Um, so they don't face the same issues. Um, I think it might be probably a little bit worse. I'd rather honestly be in the United States and Canada. Really? Um, yeah, I, I would I would much rather live here than there, bro. And mm. I think Canada's dollar is less than ours. So yeah, well. Um, shout out real quick to uh our boy uh Keely God Production. He says he says a foreigner. Foreigner. Thank you, Keely. Yes, Thank sir. you so much. And shout out to Mr. Miyagi for the $20 paypal hit the paypal one more time hit the paypal hit the cash app hit the cash app why don't you yes, uh sir. thank you so much man 20 bucks thank you mr miyagi we appreciate you we just blurred out your name there we didn't want to have your your government up there me um, and uh me and keely were just talking offline right before the show chopping it up just cracking jokes about some shit so uh shout out to you keely yeah uh yeah shout out to you man all right let's play a little bit more guys and we'll go through this uh and then we'll try to join up with homie hub in a little bit 
you you encounter a group of uh, a bachelor party or whatever, whatnot, and there's they always have stories about that about uh, things could go could have gone sour or shit. Yo, it was crazy last night. We almost died. I, I've heard a lot of people say stories like that. I know. Can you pause it real quick, bro? Yeah, so you do hear a lot of stories about how shit did go bad and how things people came down for bachelor parties, but how many stories do you hear about how things went successfully? That's my question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, it's a lot more. It's a lot more. I've seen a ton of people in Brazil for bachelor parties. That's like the new place to go for bachelor parties. And my thing is, how do you go to Brazil for a bachelor party or Colombia for that case? And then you go back to the United States and say, I'm going to take this woman to be my wife. Like, I don't, I don't understand that logic. Like that's a L, but, um, yeah, it, I mean, you hear a lot of success. I mean, a lot of people have gone down there and had successful way more than the, than the bad stories. You're, you know, so, you know, the bad stories are what gets reported on the news, but you don't hear the good stories. So that's my whole point on that. Mm -hmm. Yes, there are a lot of bad stories, but there are probably 10 times as many good stories. A hundred percent, man. A hundred percent, guys. And um, that's right. You always hear about the uh, the bad and never the good. Um, hmm. Mr. Miyagi said, you're good. That's not my real name. That's a UFC ref. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I recognize that name, actually. What's his name? Mike Beltran. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I do recognize that. <laughs> It's yeah. all about Herb Dean, though. My guy Herb Dean. Herb Dean. And uh, yeah, Bruce Buffer is my guy. He's not a ref, but yeah, he's he. Yeah, Herb Dean and Bruce Buffer. Yeah. All right, guys. Let's play play a little bit more of this. Most died. I, I've heard a lot of people say stories like that. Hey, Mister, you're a passport, bro. You don't like Western women. That's fair. You know what I mean? You go to these places. You feel like a baller with your middle class salary. I'm, there's a there's a there's the there's the shame there's the shame guys there's the shame there it is i was waiting for it guys i was waiting for it yeah. you want to bring your your girlfriend back to the united states i i'm waiting for that part i'm waiting for that part with your little middle class salary look man i'm gonna I'm gonna say it like this man and I, I wish i could debate these dudes bro once this channel blows i'll debate these these knuckleheads man because they just say anything first of all even if you have a middle class salary, that's not anything to 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 make fun of. They're making fun of the average man. Your little middle class. They they sound like females. Females do that shit. Your little fifty thousand. Your little sixty thousand. Yeah, you can say that because you're a fucking successful YouTuber and you guys are making fucking, you know, I don't know, thirty or forty or fifty k plus a month. It's easy to talk about somebody's little fifty k salary because you're fucking pissing that in literally thirty days. But at the end of the day, Abba preach. Most men are not making that kind of money, man. And hey, shit, if you could go over to a country and make fucking 40 or 50K a year and live like a fucking boss, do you, man. There's nothing wrong with that. If as long as you work hard, you take care of your family and you do what you got to do, ain't nothing wrong with having a little middle class salary, whatever the fuck you just said. That's why our channel exists, because you have all of these countless channels. And we're going to pull up another one right after this that try to shame men, make fun of men for every little thing that they do. Guys are working hard to yeah, make man. a middle class salary. It's not easy to make six figures. If if it was, everybody would just do it, and then six figures wouldn't be relevant. Like people, I mean, the bar would be set higher if that was the case. Six figures wouldn't be enough. So that's the thing. And every single every single media outlet, typically, like most of them, the vast majority of them are shaming men for different reasons. And, and no matter what we do, it's never good enough. Cool. So then we go overseas where we are good enough with what we do and what we bring in our hard work. Um, we're not talking about the Pookies. The Pookies are not good overseas, but we're talking about the people that work hard. They grind. They might make $60,000, $70,000 a year where that ain't shit here in Miami. Making 70000 a year and your rent's $3,000. Um, and then every single drink you buy is $30 and, and then you go out for a meal and it's, it's 40, $50 for a meal. You go out on a date, it's $150, $200. Like that's, yeah, that's not good enough here, but you're grinding. You have a college degree. You've been working hard your whole life. You're moving up. You might be young, you know, other countries are saying, 
that's perfectly fine. That's that's actually putting you as being a baller, absolute richness, one percent over there in other countries, and then you're shamed for taking advantage and 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 you know going where you're where you're welcomed and not where you're uh you know just shamed the whole time for everything you do. You're shamed for you know, if you go up and you you talk to a girl, she could say you're harassing her. Mm-hmm. You know all that stuff, that bullshit here. Like it's it, you're not shamed for doing that overseas. Hundred um, percent, guys. I just pasted or pinned the Streamlabs. So if someone wants to uh, test it out, you know, send in a dollar or five dollars or whatever. I want to make sure it works, and then on the next stream, we'll make sure that your messages pop up on the screen. I'll be able to pop it up on the screen here pro- most likely, but. Uh, it won't come up automatically. So on the on the uh, next stream, we'll make sure it works uh, where it shows up. But again, if someone could just send a dollar in real quick um, on that uh, pinned link, I just want to make sure it comes through and we hear the noise. Uh, but anyway, guys, let's continue on. I mean, there's a reason why these poor countries exist. And there's a reason why these poor people trying to move on up. And there's a reason why these poor girls who are very attractive are interested in you. And it's not because you cute. No. Okay. So pause that. You know, you just more shame, more shame. Yeah, these dudes are definitely a blue pill channel. They make fun of the red pill, but they're completely on female side. They sound like females talking. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and say it, bro. There's nothing wrong with a woman wanting you because you have money. I, I want you because you're pretty and you got a fat booty. Like I, 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 you, I like that big booty. I love big booty, Latinos. Um, but the thing is, how are we tr- treating each other? What? Uh, what are our intentions, right? Are are you gonna take you know, take me for my money and then leave me to go to some other guy, or are you gonna stay and be compliant and conform to what I need you to do as a man? I don't necessarily care that a woman wants me because I'm rich. I, I'm 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 happy that she wants me because I have money. That's cool. But I need That's her natural. to not be That's a fucking nature. slut. I need her to not cheat. I need her to get in the gym. I need her to cook, clean, listen to what I say, help me with my business. It's a contract. Yeah, relationships, especially marriage, is a contract. It's not necessarily about love. So, uh, I'll ask the chat this question: Would you, let's say, you guys in the chat, right? Would you rather have a female who, quote unquote, loves you, but the minute something happens, she's out, right? You you got to play your cards completely right, or she's taking half. And she's just going to, you know, take the kids, all the shit the women do here in the United States. Or would you rather go to a third world country where maybe she wants you for your money as well, right? But she's not that, I got my education, I got my money. She's not dangling that in your face. And let's just say she's actually more attracted to your money than she is you, but she learns to love you or whatever it is. I would rather, there it is. There it is. All right, let's see. So it's probably not going to show up on the screen, guys, but let me see. Yeah, it's probably. Uh, there it is, Mr. Miyagi. Mr. Miyagi sent testing it. it out. Shout out to yeah, you. Thank Mr. Thank you, Mr. Miyagi. We just put it up on the screen, guys, but it went away. I'll I'll pull it up in a second and read it. But uh, thank you so much, Mr. Miyagi. So it works, guys. We're just trying to figure out the uh, the pop up here. But once we get that, you guys will hear that sound, and uh, we'll get it uh, we'll get it going. It'll kind of pop up in front of us like this, guys. But it'll this this little box won't be here. So I'll try to figure out and fix it. Uh, but thank you, Mr. Miyagi. Um, and I'll read that in a moment. But but what I was saying, guys, real quickly is, would you rather be with a woman here in the States and deal with all the bullshit that women can do, like take half and all that shit? Or would you rather go to a country that's poor, like Colombia, Venezuela or whatever, and the girl may still want you for your money, but as long as you're bringing in the money, she's going to do whatever the fuck you say. And she's going to learn to love you, right? Like she's yeah. not, it's it's not, you know, she's going to stay with you and do what she's supposed to do. Let's say she never really, really, truly like love, love, loves you, but she does Man, her job as a woman. She'll love I'm you. Good. She'll love you. Yeah. Especially if you have kids with her. Yeah. She'll, she'll love, she's going to love kids. your kids. She's yeah, going to love, love you. Kids. Like that's the way it is over there. So, um, but yeah, it, it it's, it's, I rather have that too. Uh, I have a question for you, Steve. What up? Are we a red pill channel? We are not a red pill channel, but we will probably always be classified as one because of the things we talk about. But I wouldn't, I don't say we're a red pill channel. We talk about red pill discussions and red pill topics. But what I say, yo, we're a red pill channel. No, we're just a channel that is trying to help men and whatever that means, you know, call it red pill, call it what you want. We don't want men to get bullied. We don't want men to get used. We see that a lot of men are just getting ran through the fucking ringer and we're trying to help guys out. Yeah, man. Yeah. 
that's what these breakdowns are for, guys. When we put these breakdowns out, it's not about, yo, where the hoes at? You know, blowjobs here. It did the, the best blowjobs are at this strip club. Like, we're never going to, like, go on here and, like, really, like, be complete and utterly, like, fully, like, sexual. Yes, we'll talk about women because we love women. But what I'm saying is, is, like, it's not that kind of, you know, channel, especially when it comes to the travel stuff. We're really just trying to give you guys information and show you guys how to have fun with women and enjoy being a man. You know what I'm saying? And not get fucking uh, the, the bad end of the, the short end of the stick and the bad deal. That's the best way I can describe my intuition. Um, but shout out to you guys, man. Let's play a little bit more of this. This is the same. And thank you, Mr. Miyagi, man. Um, hold on. He, uh, $10. Thank you, Mr. Miyagi, for the $10 uh, Streamlabs uh, super chat. And guys, we'll, we promise to have these pop up on the screen on the next show. You traded one set of problems for a different one, and everyone got to pick the problems that they want to deal with. If you don't want to deal with the Western problems, then you got to deal with the fact that when you go to these places, a lot of these people just see you as a paycheck. Mm -hmm. A lot of these people just see you as a way out, out of poverty. And some of these people don't have good intentions. And so knowing that, you just got to accept it. That's it. That's what it comes down to. It's like me when I choose my cell phone provider. I mean, they all kind of trash. You got to pick trash you like. Okay? You got to pick trash you like. That's it. You just know you're getting fucked, so you got to pick. Remember, guys, getting fucked for less money is better than getting fucked for more money. At the end of the day, let's just say the women will fuck you. <clears throat> let's just say the women will fuck you in these other countries. Cool. Not cool, but cool. Whatever. At least it's not as bad as here. Again, where can you go to put yourself in the best position as possible as a man? That is the question. Is it yeah. the United States? Is it Colombia? Is it Brazil? Is it Thailand? Is it Philippines? Where is it? Would you rather be fucked in a country where it's like, okay, any, any allegation gets you canceled? gets you completely destroyed you lose your job you lose everything even if it's true or false would you rather um deal with child support would you rather deal with alimony would you rather deal with losing half would you rather do with a crooked court system um this is coming from someone who was married guys i was married you know and it's like you know it's i wasn't i was married i had a house i ended up doing well because i chose the right person but um you know it's it's this isn't us just just pulling this shit out of thin air like we have experience with this shit and you know i was happy with the way that you know at, towards the end it was tough dealing with you know with going through the divorce and all that stuff but at the end of things end of the day it allowed me to go to brazil um i was over there um i made a ton of money off my house because i bought it during covid and then i sold it uh I sold it and, and and made more than twice as much as it was worth. Um, yeah, and and I didn't have any kids or anything, so it was cool, man. It was cool, but um, you know, it's it's everyone's against you here in the states as a man. You even see these people, these quote unquote men that are against you. Um, you know, choosing the best options for yourself. So that's my only thing with it. I, I you know, I I don't really. I don't agree with the whole shaming men for choosing the best options. I don't agree with shaming men for making, you know, not as much money average or below average salary. As long as you're grinding and you're constantly bettering yourself and you're working on your purpose, you know, it takes time to build yourself up as a man. But, um, you know, eventually when you do, it's worth it. And then if you can take what you've built overseas into these other countries and then quadruple it or five times your money you know then is even more worth it so um you got people like this that are going to shame you for doing that and choosing the best options you got modern women like we're going to talk about later shaming you um they want their happy passport bros are dying they're laughing at it um they're they're trying to shit on the movement and they're taking examples of people that aren't winning and then highlighting those instead of taking the examples of people that are winning like myself and Steve. How about you take that example? How about you take examples of us going overseas, navigating successfully, living in these countries for years? You know, how about you take that example? No, you won't because you want to sell negative fake news. That's what you want to sell. So, yeah. Also, so. guys, um, we're realist, man. Not every guy is going to be rich. Not every guy is going to make a million dollars. Not every guy is going to be a millionaire. Some men don't strive to want to be a millionaire. They don't give a shit about being a millionaire. That's not what they want to do with their life. Okay. It is what it is guys. Okay. So, um, and, and, and again, it's fine, right? Like 
boo hoo, sad story. Not everyone's going to be a boss. There has to be workers. There has to be soldiers. We need people to work at Walmart. We need people to work at McDonald's. It doesn't mean you should shit on them. You need those people there. Otherwise, how are you going to get your fucking burger? We don't have enough fucking robots, which we'll talk about later. Uh, fucking yeah. fucking AI bots that that can fucking, you know, make fucking, you know, your fucking cheesesteak for you. We, we, we have human beings that are running the world and we need there's there's levels to the shit and there's hierarchy. And that's how the world's always been. The people who are rich sit at the top. And, you know, there used to be a, a, a point in time where they didn't shit on people below them. But that's what happens. It's easy for Abba and Preach to sit there and they're on their high horse. And, and talk shit on the average man or the average salary. But, yeah, you guys are making a lot of money. I saw some shit the other day where Andrew Tate was talking about how, like, having a bunch of women isn't everything and having Bugatti's isn't a big deal. And, you know, I'm fro and I'm like, yeah, man, I fuck with Andrew Tate. But it's like, bro, you've been there. You have a Bugatti now. You fucked a bunch of bitches. You got your dick sucked on a yacht. Every guy wants that. Once you get there, it gets boring. Right. And you're like, shit, I done got my dick sucked on this yacht like 20 times. How many more times can this bitch <laughs> give me a fucking hawk to her? Hawk to and spit on that thing. All right, cool. But it's easy to say it when you've already fucking did it, dummy. It's easy to say that, stupid. Stupid. But we haven't got there yet. Some men haven't got there yet. Some men I will never get there. I wouldn't say we, but I'll say we've, some, we've, 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 some men have We fucked some girls on a yacht. But what I'm saying is <laughs> there's certain things that there's certain things that you can't like that we haven't done yet. We haven't dro drove a Bugatti yet, right? Like we yeah. haven't got there yet. But so, but what I'm saying is, all I'm trying to get you guys to understand is, is that once you're successful, it's easy to look back and go like, man, it's so hard being successful. I remember Fresh from Fresh and Fit tried to tell me, I was at fucking, right down the street from here. I go out, Sneeko and Fresh are out, talking to Fresh. This is back when we were cool. And he goes, yeah, man, it's, it's tough, man, being famous, man, you know. You don't want these problems, bro. It's, and this was after he was going through a bunch of shit with them getting banned on like TikTok and all the shit they were doing. And I'm like, yeah, fresh. I guess it's easy to say that now, but isn't this what you wanted? This is what you wanted. When I met you, dude, all you were talking about was being rich and famous and driving around in Lambos. Now you're rich and famous and driving around in Lambos. I don't think you would trade being broke again in, would you? Right? Guys, I told you two streams ago, there's a study. It's not even a study. I looked it up. It's just facts. 15% of jobs offer $100,000 or more. Every job in the United States, only 15, out, of, out of all of them, only 15% offer $100,000 or more. By default, <laughs> you, it's, you can't get yeah, rich working tough. for someone else. Yeah. So all I'm trying to get you guys to understand is it's okay that you're making your little $50,000 a year. You just have to learn how to leverage it and make sure you're living the life that you want to live and living the lifestyle you want to live and not dealing with women who laugh and like, guys like Abba and Preach were like making fun of it. And that's where the passport bro mo uh, movement comes in. That's where mental intuition comes in. If somehow we can get these guys in a position where they can make or 50,000, but live somewhere where that 50,000 stretches farther, then you're uh, rich technically. Yeah. yeah so. You're, you're in good shape. You're making a quarter million dollars a year. Yeah. Um, Shout out to this, this, uh, Oh, I forgot. I put this up here. Shout out to Lud baller. He said, Hey bro, just wanted to, this is a supporter. He, he sent me this on, um, discord. Hey bro. Just wanted to say, thanks. I watched some of your breakdowns. I was in CTG the first week of this month. I had a blast really great city. Actually even thinking about spending a month there next year, since I'm a remote worker, shout out to the remote workers. We just talked about that. <laughs> Uh, I'm a remote worker, and it was a really chill place. Clubs were closed in the walled city, but I had a lot of fun with the locals. A lot of regular people appreciate your content. You guys keep doing what you're doing. Thank you, bro. Thank you, Lud. I appreciate that. We also had another supporter say, you guys are the biggest small channel. He said, don't take this the wrong way, but you're the biggest small channel we I've ever seen or whatever. So I was like, yeah, hey, yo, bro, thank you that thank you for that, too, dude. Yeah, he's um, like, I know you lost you, all your, you know, you got banned and lost your yeah. supporters. You but don't take this the wrong way. You're the biggest small channel. <laughs> well, what it, they, they don't know that we've put in a lot of work and we've just been reset down to however many subscribers. But yeah, technically, bro, if we wouldn't have got banned chat, we'd probably have, I'd say about 40 or 50 right now. Easy. Easy. Easy 40. Might be have might have hit 60 or 80. Might be at 60 or 80. I'm being honest because it's it's been like four or five months. We were growing really rapidly. Okay. S extremely fast. We were going to be the biggest channel uh, smoking and, and we'll, and we'll get back there. Um, but it's cool. It is what it is. Things happen for a reason. And 
we need everybody, you know, to just keep sharing the content. Yeah. Anybody in the Discord that hasn't joined the channel, join the channel. And let's grow this thing back up. King H said we would have had three yacht parties by now. Yeah. 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 For sure. 100%. Uh, but yeah, those man, are coming. Yeah. The, the yacht parties are coming, guys. And stay tuned, man. We got some big things in store. And, and hopefully, you know, things turn around here. You know, things will turn around for the channel and, and we'll do what we need to do. But we're not going to give up and we're not fucking leaving. We already told you that, guys, that a million times. I'm not fucking leaving. <laughs> all right. Nothing is perfect. Everyone's going to have to settle. We all can't get what we want in life. That's okay. We all got to pick. In every fight, Wyatt. Yay! back. But we also have a sense of justice. Justice for beloved Twin Cities activist and comedian Tu Jir Zhang. A Zhang says this is the moment his family have been waiting for since finding out about his brother's murder. What's even sweeter is that it even came before the funerals. Family remembers Tu Jir as a fearless community leader who fought for justice. A community vigil last month brought together hundreds of people and elected officials. So they didn't end up catching the people who did it. And I want to play the video in full context and then we can kind of comment. Hmong is com Cambodian? You know what I'm talking about? No. Hmong, H-M-O-N-G. I think it is. Yeah, okay. Sounds Cambodian. So I think he was kind of a bit of a pioneer for that scenes, for that country's mm. comedy scene. Three adults and a child are charged with killing him. Video from Colombian officials show the very moment two people were arrested, including this woman who A spoke to before. To have that kind of betrayal. That was the woman in the Instagram video. Mm. You know, it just breaks my heart. You know, if they... We're able to. They say breaks my heart. To do this to my brother. Wait, did they say? They did say breaks my heart, right? I thought so. It breaks my heart. Could do to someone else. Someone else too. The State Department says this is a troubling trend in Colombia. An alert from the U.S. Embassy warns tourists about using dating apps in that country. The embassy says eight Americans have died under suspicious circumstances in Medellin, Colombia, from November through December. A Zhang says while his brother did not meet a woman online, he's urging. Aware and hopes these now public arrests stop other families from going through this pain. I just don't like when people talk about it. Like I'm gonna be a passport, bro. Cease the way it says. I would love to hear the story on how you guys came up with the name Intuition. The channel name is Fire. Thank you, bro. Uh, just uh, I was just trying to figure out a good name, and um, I wanted something that had to do with like helping men, and um, Intuition was one of the ones that came up. Um, it used to be called Intuition Academy. Um, I was working with a previous co-host of mine um and he, he he said it should be mentuition and then something after so that's where you get the school bell classes in session but we dropped uh we dropped the mentuition academy and we just called it mentuition and um just thought it was a cool name it, it, you know men have intuition as well we always talk about a female's intuition but never a man's intuition so that's kind of where it came out uh, mr miyagi says i don't understand why youtube bans your channels the other day a youtube short came across my feed and I couldn't believe the content the girl posted. Yeah, man, women are allowed to do whatever they want, Mr. Miyagi. We are in a gynocentric um, society where women are allowed to basically say anything about men or do anything to men. And since they are the physically weaker sex, they um, are allowed to do mental harm to men. Okay, I'm gonna say it again, one more time. Hold on, wait a minute, God thought I was finished. Since women are the physically weaker sex, they are allowed to mentally harm men and physically harm men. And we can't do anything back, right? So she says, I have a little dick. And I say, bitch, your pussy stank. They'll disregard that I said, or that she that she said my dick was small or whatever she said about me and only hone in on the fact that I said her pussy stunk. But it's like, but you just insulted me. So that's what kind of society we're living in is where women can go on YouTube, show their tits, show their vagina, uh, shave their vagina. I cannot feel my vagina. And they won't get banned. And it's it's definitely a, a double standard that men are dealing with. I think it's unfair, but it is what it is. You can either boo-hoo or, or try to roll with the punches. But, you know, we're working behind the scenes to try to figure some things out uh, with our banning and, and and figure out what we can do to, to not be banned. And we're, 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 we're working, but it is what it is, man. I've, I've seen channels that post far worse than what we're posting. Um, and nothing happens to their channels. So kind of weird, but it is what it is. But you think everything's going to be smooth and easy. No, immigration is complicated. Going over there, dealing with somebody from a complete foreign culture, that's complicated. You may not realize it, but you and your Western mindset. You Did 
I don't know. If the, I'm chat. Did we? Florida. Definitely, definitely heard it that time. You are actually not ready for their cultural experience. You're not. You're not. The way you dress, the way you talk, the way you act, a lot of them not gonna rock with you. That's why a lot of these guys go over there and they stick out like a sore thumb. Right? They walk around. Why do you think they always get targeted? Because he's trying to talk so tough. He's just trying to sound so like, <laughs> like me of Drake. Abba, stop it, man. Like yeah. he's just he's got not he's, tough Drake. He's got the, the sleeve, the sleeveless shirt, yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Not, with the tattoos. You're not, you're not tough, try Drake. to look cock diesel, like yeah, well, you'll go over there, you'll get you, you'll get robbed. Yo, guys, it's got what 510k views in one day. Shout out to these dudes, bro. They got two million subscribers. They they're doing better than Raccoon Keys, right? This is uh yeah, Keys would get like 10 views. Yeah, this with, is with fucking so, 300,000 subs. So not to not to bring up Keys again, but we have to do it because fuck it. You know, he's he's from the streets. We in the streets for real. Ab and Preach have 2.16 million subscribers. When they post a video in one day, they 25%. got 25 percent of their viewers to watch. Our problem with Keys is hey man, you have Let's go to his channel real quick you, and let's pull it up. You 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 have uh 300, 300. Open it in a new tab. Ah, uh, fuck, fuck it, it's cool. I'll go right. back. It'll it'll save it. All right. Uh okay, here we go. He put a street guide out for his uh sewer. Oh, you got STI, his, which is like sewer, a right? STI, what kind of shit is that? STD airport. Mm, yeah. Okay, so <laughs> 297, 300, 4.1. Yeah. Okay, so what what a 10% is is 30k or 29k. Yeah. Uh uh 5% is 15k. Uh 2.5% is 7.5k. Right? He's not even getting 2.5% of his people to watch his videos. Yeah. I mean, so, that's what we've been saying the whole time. He got fake followers. Right. He has fake followers. And this is what we keep talking well, about. Somebody. He's he's a he, and then he has the audacity to come at a channel like ours. Yeah. So so we it's, got it's numbers, guys. We'll do the stream. It's math. We'll get four hundred views, but we got three hundred subs. Like right. It's math. You so, see, how I'm preached twenty five percent in one day. Right. So something's not adding up. Do you understand what we're saying? Again, we're not haters. We're just observing this dude's channel. He's talking shit on us. We got banned, and we're still. Our percentage wise, our, our, our watch hours and, and not even watch hours, but just the amount of people watching is a higher percentage than the subscribers we have or a good, a good percentage, right? His isn't. So something doesn't add up. Either his followers are fake or I don't know. Even when we had 20 K we're getting like three, four K a show. Yeah. And even if we did worse than that, I mean, that's still pretty good. That's still five ten percent like if we did 1k or 2k that was great but that's in like a day though but oh, like yeah. after like a week yeah. we yeah, have yeah. like 4k yeah, we, have, we have three or 4k yeah and yeah. that's like 25 percent. so what are you talking about yeah makes no sense stupid i hear all time people oh i brought this girl back and then she moved here she hated it why because the weather in north america is nothing like her perfect country right? there it is the culture <laughs> over here is nothing like her country all of a sudden she's now in the western world living with you and she's in an environment where every time bro there you it called it hey man they always we say turn, bring... we can turn it off now yeah we're, 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 we won't even watch anymore guys once they say bring her back to the states it's over we're, we're good now, Next. a lot of you guys have been asking, Steve, is there a Discord? Is there a group chat? Is there a way we can talk with you or amongst each other about traveling, about Colombia, so on and so forth? So yes, guys, finally, there is a Discord. The link is in the description. Also, I have a Locals. If you guys wanna see the behind the scenes spicy content that's not safe for YouTube, make sure you sign up for the Locals. And lastly, guys, you can become a member of the channel. If you become a member of the channel, guys, you will get exclusive drops to videos. I'll probably put some members only videos out. There'll be a lot of perks. So make sure you guys join the channel and become a member.